In our health alert tonight, a reason to put a little distance between you and your cell phone. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with a warning that we all need to hear. Doctor. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think more than 90, more than 95 percent of Americans now claim to own a cell phone, but this is relatively new technology. And is it safe? Now, the jury is still out on that question, but one of the largest state health agencies in the nation isn't waiting around for an answer. California's Department of Public Health now has issued new guidelines and ways to reduce the risk from potentially dangerous cell phone wireless signals, and they're worth paying attention to, in my opinion. You know, doctor, you said that the jury may still be out on this question, but is there a real debate among scientists about whether or not wireless signals are indeed dangerous? And absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. California's state health agency doesn't really, you know, uh, want, want to, to, to say that, you know, you, this is going to be completely dangerous, but it does point to multiple studies suggesting that the radio frequency energy may be linked to things like cancer, lowered sperm counts, and memory loss. On the other hand, the wireless industry has long fought back against such claims, arguing that there's not enough evidence for public statements like this one. Well, and then there was also some concern for a while, doctor, about having the phone too close to your head and then the whole earphone thing. I mean, do you have a position on this? And if so, any recommendations? Yeah, I always say it's better, right, to be safe than sorry. And in this case, I would exercise caution until there's solid proof showing that cell phones pose no danger to people. It's wise to protect yourself. And, and to me, keep your phone as far away from your body as possible. For example, a lot of us use a cell phone for what? As an alarm clock at night. Try keeping it on the other side of the room, at least three feet away. Now, those three feet could really make a difference when it comes to radiation exposure. And when you're up and out and about, stash it in a briefcase, in a backpack or purse when you're not using it. And the rest of my prescriptions, don't sleep with your phone, please. Don't sleep with it and keep it away from your head uh, and at least put it on airplane mode. If you use a headset, remove it when you're not on a call. Headsets can release small amounts of radio frequency energy. And lastly, limit your cell phone usage when the wireless signal is weak. When this happens, more of this mm. bad energy is really emitted. Mm -hmm. And doctor, any other takeaways from these from mm. these new guidelines? Absolutely, I actually like it. You know, the guideline sheet has a section on children, really important because I have kids, and it notes that kids may be more at risk from RF energy because they have thinner skulls and developing brains. So there's one more reason to limit the amount of energy your kids spend in front of the screen every day. And, and you know, you, as parents, we should do our best to get them away from it. Yeah. Are you concerned about this? I really am. You know, I do all the things that I talk about yeah. here because I don't. I try not to keep it with me when I'm okay. sleeping. And so I think it's really an important issue, and I'm glad California came out with something. Yeah, Back absolutely. to an alarm clock. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> 1999. Thank, you. Thank yeah. you so much, Dr. Nandy. If you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us, Facebook, Twitter. We'll get it right to him.